Yes, we're live. We're live, Ralph. We're live. We're live, we're live at the we're live. Center, downtown Riverside. Our first show of 2019, and also the last uh, day of the Festival of Lights here in Riverside, uh, California. It is last day, it isn't it? It's the very last we day. We saw some uh, good entertainment down the other end of the block. Sylvia was her name? Sylvia. Yeah, and we'll find her full name and put a uh, link, because she was great. Yeah, good stuff. We're here with our buddy, Kurt Miller. Hello. Um, at the Culver Center. We're here for the Dan Bernstein talk and uh, book signing. Dan has a new book out about the time when the Press Enterprise took a case all the way to the Supreme Court to twice. get twice, 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 and one. Yes. For to to get access to the courts. Yes. And they set precedents which are still followed nationwide. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's quoted. I mean, his book will probably be in, in, in law school. They'll be studying this book. Yeah. Um, in, in law class. Yeah. And um, Kurt and I, of course. Um, occurred a little bit longer we are press enterprise veterans um, I was there through all of the 80s but you probably have seen a lot of the news that has happened here in Riverside the Inland, in, Inland Empire through Kurt's photos yes I, I started at the paper in May of 1980 and then I, I left the paper in um, on my first day of not working was Thanksgiving 2016 so I've been gone for two years but surprisingly um, I've been doing a little bit of freelancing on the side but my big uh, coup de grace is about, a, well, the day I left was the day that Trump became president. And I, I spoke with Doug McCullough that day because he wanted me to be in um, an art show that he was working on. And then I spoke with him and I was very interested. And then unfortunately his mom passed away shortly thereafter there. So the, the, the project was put on hold for a year. And, um, but I still kind of lost on what I wanted to do. And I, I mean, just the, I'm very thankful that for John Biber, who was a contractor, who was able to deconstruct the inside of the old Press Enterprise building on 14th. And so I had unprecedented access to uh, take photographs of this deconstruction. Of the, and, and the name in the, name in the show Here we go. is the Sunshine of Neglect. Be it to you. And um, Doug McCullough is a curator. And this, this they call these rock cards, and I'm 32 more. So I, I am in the show, it's guaranteed. And I have eight photographs that show um, various stages of the inside of the Press Enterprise being deconstructed. And, um, and, and as I said, the name of the show is Deconstructing the Fourth Estate. And uh, Ralph used to work in circulation. Yes. So when, when yes. he sees the inside of the circulation rooms with no walls in it and the exit signs hanging down, it's going to be emotional for him. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, you know, the 80s um, in particular, which is a wonderful decade to be working at the press. Um, had you know family owners and it was very much everybody worked there yeah yeah yeah, like, yeah. The, the Hayes and the Culver's owned it at that time and just wonderful bosses and, and and when you read Dan's book you'll realize that Tim Hayes was more interested in the news and the community than money yes and, and, yes and he treated the employees very very well and I, it was just a privilege for me to, to photograph this and and let me tell you I, I, I'm sure we'll talk more on this later but um, it was quite emotional for me too. I was going through some weird things in my life and then all of a sudden being thrown into a place that I worked for 27 years, um, you know, going up the stairs. You know, 21 stairs for 27 years. It was, uh, and uh, this hopefully will just be the, the beginning of uh, um, what to do with these photos. I shot about 7,500 photos and there's eight in this exhibit. So, so that whittled down to about 2,000. And we'll, wow. we'll see what happens with wow. it. Wow. So, so the exhibit opens on January, January 19th. Like, January 19th, right, right here, here at the California Museum of Photography. And the Riverside Art Museum. Oh, sorry, over there. Okay. So about three and a half blocks away is the Riverside Art Museum. There's going to be two openings going on simultaneously. <coughs> Wonderful. So and it'll be a little less packed with the parking with the festival lights not going on. So there's no <laughs> right. excuse yeah, yeah, for yeah, missing yeah. This, it. This is an easy gig. I, I bet they I bet they thought about doing it in December, but thought different. No. See, yeah. all the locals are coming downtown again. Right. Now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right now we're yeah, all yeah. like, kind of, oh, we can show up now. There's parking. Uh -huh, exactly. And then exactly. A real quick shout out about this show is it was so packed today for Dan Bernstein since we're talking a little bit about the Press Enterprise and since I was born in 1980, right? right? Same year yeah, I started. Same the year paper. he started. Yeah, yeah. Um, the two things that I always remember growing up were my favorites was obviously the the guide because I loved looking at all the entertainment coming up and all the interviews in there. Mm -hmm. And my second, well, not my second favorite, my t my favorite growing up and getting older was definitely Dan Bernstein because I could tell he was. Uh, making some really good friends in town and not making friends with others so it's right, just no, so exactly, cool exactly. and it was nice to see that there was freedom in our our press in our, oh, our newspaper gosh, it was surreal well yeah because yeah. I, 
it's it's without being said that the the press enterprise of the of the eighties and the nineties and even in the two thousands is so different than the press enterprise of now. Oh yeah, and even yeah. when I was a kid growing up, I'd go between here and North uh, San Diego, and our our newspaper in San Diego was nothing like what we had here in Riverside. Yeah. And it was just a cooler paper. You would see interviews with local artists, musicians, and then stuff about politicians that they didn't really want you to see in there, which was cool. Right, you right. Know, right. I was right, just right. like, that, wow, there's some like gossip, but it wasn't gossip. It was it stuff was a, we needed to know. Yeah, it was hard facts too. Yeah. And, and the problem now with the internet is. You can kind of make stuff up. Oh yeah. Not that people. Well, they do. Yeah. Let's just be honest. Yeah. They do. Right. They, they just right. make stuff up. And 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 it's, this is. We're not talking about you info wars. Wars. Oh, did I say that? No. <laughs> just making stuff up. You right. Know? Yeah. Exactly. exactly. Like just pulling it out of their butts. You know. So, <laughs> Here so you go. Here's uh, here's some uh, fake facts. You know. Yep. So so yeah, the press enterprise just just doesn't have the impact that it did, and that's unfortunate. No. Yeah. We I'm... are real fans of the media. Obviously, Patrick oh. and I started Hey Riverside because we wanted to get another voice going in town right oh no and um, and of and, course you know we sort of we sort of have replaced the guide but um, we, we really do got to give a special shout out to Vanessa Franco all we, the stuff we, she we, did for the guide and all the yeah, people yeah that's did the thing we're such work. fans of right. the people yeah. we wanted to but just the operation is like oh man you know and but we still have some great journalists putting in lots of hours because they have to cover so much more than they should be covering and uh in a lot less time, a lot, a lot less, less time. resources, and it's just unfortunate for the city. And just, let's yeah, not end on a sad No, no, we'll end on no, a kind no, of like, no, the happy note is this this event today, we're going we're going to the second show. Because okay, it was that, so packed, it was they had so to packed. do another one. They already did one a couple so weeks ago. So this is technically number three. Yeah, this they did the one at Cellar Door Books, which sold out. Big shout out to Cellar Doors, too. I hear the book is entirely, the first printing sold out. Yes, according to yes, Kate. yes, yes, yes. And I so, brought money today and they would not sell me anything because so, it wasn't here. So you can get on the waiting list for the new one. If you if you have some time right now, I know there's going to be a few seats open for the second show here, which is going to start probably in about, about five, ten minutes. But yeah, 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 yeah. And I saw the first show. It starts in five minutes. And um, Dan is amazing. And um, I don't know if Jim Ward is still going to be here, but Mel Apatowski will yeah, be. Yeah, Mel. And the, um, the impact that these boys had. And, uh, and I was fortunate that when I started, they were there. And I worked with Mel for at least 25 years and worked with Dan for you know over 30 years and and I was telling Dan because I, I, I've been kind of tight-lipped on my project but I have a photographs of his office being torn down oh, so, wow. so it's, uh, wow. it, it, it's gonna be an emotional emotional night and so uh, I need to, to stand tall and you yeah, know, when I'm well, here, absolutely. When I'm here in two weeks, it's going to be we're, tough not to get emotional, but I'm going to do We're going to bring him down to El Rancho, relax, and so we'll do a whole time Yeah, yeah, we, we, we plan to have a good hangout with yeah. Kurt yeah, and yeah. Talk, oh, talk at length yeah, about yeah. your career because you've seen so much of, uh, I mean, the really intense stuff that's happened in our community up close. You have been the guy there documenting right, right. it. And, so. then, and a, a good side note is that when one of the cases was that Norco, what they called the Norco shooting, it happened right. on May 11th. 1980. Yep. I yep. have been working at the paper for 11 days. Oh man! Wow. So I thought it's going to be like this all the time. <laughs> this is intense. But it, you know, there were pets of the weeks and other things. But <laughs> pets uh, of the week. Yeah, yeah. But one thing is that, and I, and I will stand by this wholeheartedly, is we didn't make a lot of money, but we've got the best stories and the, and the things we've seen, you know, behind the scenes, and and it's uh, it, it was a wonderful place to work. Yeah. It was a Riverside place. Yep, yep. And now if you can get down here and see Dan, um, he'll give you some insight. And I know he's going to speak again. Um, my friend Carolyn said she's going to try to get him to speak at the Animal Control. Oh, great. And, um, great. If, 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 and we're going to try and get him on the show, too, to talk about the book. We're gonna but be we at, want to read it first. Yes, yes. <laughs> and so, I, I know we're going to be at events all throughout the year, too. So the absolutely. airport will be at, I'm sure. We're yeah. going to be at the Mary S. Roberts uh, walk. Uh, Actually, we'll be emceeing right. at the Mary S. Roberts. We're, oh, yeah, we're the emcees. I forgot about that. Yeah. So, okay. uh -huh. so that's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, this is our first live broadcast of the year. So thanks so much, for Kurt, for I'm so proud hanging to be out here. with us. Thanks. I've been wanting. I'm just going to. Come on, we're hugging. This guy we're here. Huggers. Yeah. We're huggers. Yeah. Special shout out to you. Last night, I went and saw an incredible show at the Marriott. So Axel will put on an incredible show Another with Dick great Dale. Weekend of music. And man, Dick Dale killed it. At 81, he oh, still wow. had it. It was awesome. He came out. It was an amazing show. It was loud. Everybody had a blast. And it was a great show at the Marriott. So if you missed out on the Rhythm Collision number six, you better be ready for number seven next year. Okay. okay. And real quick shout out to Tim Brown. 
who has been on the radio all through the holiday season on KCAL. Oh, plus, and Cola he's Ball. got some of his tooth. And right, yeah, he's like down me. for the count right now with a yeah, tooth thing. Yeah. So yeah, everybody I, take care, that. Tim. Get better. Hey, Tim, we're, we're in the same you. club. I'm missing one, too. Yeah, <laughs> Patrick going through out, it. Yeah. I'm oh, knocking I, on wood. I am, too. Oh, man. Okay, I'm gonna, I am, too. Oh, okay, and well, last thing, Riverside Open Mic Music Series this Wednesday. I hope to see you at Romano's. It's all ages. It's uh, free at 7 p.m. And then Kirk's got one more thing to say. Have a great 2019, and let's just bring it out, boys. All right. See you next time.